the federal government has taxed stakeholders in the education sector to implement the school safety policy to ensure students are safe in schools across the country. The Minister of State for Education, Honorable Goodluck Nana Opia, stated this in Abuja at a press briefing to mark the International Day to protect education from attack. Opia says the policy provides strategies for emergency response, harm reduction measures and proper channels of communication with relevant stakeholders in the case of imminent attack. The 22 edition of the International Day to protect education from attack. This observance was initiated by Qatar and co-sponsored by 62 other countries at the 76th United Nations General Assembly in 2020 and was unanimously adopted. Therefore, this is the third edition and the ministry strategically chose the team implementing school safety policy as a tool to protect education from attack our collective responsibility. The team foregrounds the education sector and some actions to protect education from violent situations and armed conflict, thereby upholding the right to education and its continuity in such emergency situations as enshrined in the safety in the safe school declaration which Nigeria ratified on the 20th, 20th March 2019. The team was devised by the ministry to create awareness of the existence of the school safety policy and the need for state governments, education institutions, stakeholders, civil society organizations, the military and the general public to operationalize the guidance therein. The school safety policy copiously highlights the strategies for emergency preparedness in education institutions, measures for harm reduction, stakeholders to contact for help in case of imminent attack, details of the military for using education institutions and procedures to ensure that education continues if the attack is inevitable.